And here we are. It looks like a move up the inside at oh. turn one. And there's contact between the 99 of Abdulaziz Abuzanada and the 55 of Laura Villas. And that's unfortunate. Absolutely brilliant. As the light blue car, oh, Creel cuts off, has a lunge into turn 10. He tried to replicate the move. Omar Luis Aldrani took it on him previously. but uh, Let's see what happens. She, uh, here we see Amda. And she was offline and uh, totally lost control. Good avoiding action there by Solomon Zanfari, though. Yes. And, uh, Alvaro doesn't need much of a, an introduction. He has all oh, spin for Corona Gosner in the 58 Mercedes. Does well to keep it out. For the MP Racing Mercedes and also on its inside, the, uh, the, the, but the spin was further up the road from the number five Kessel Racing Ferrari. And then I think everything for Luke Broekers who started the car. Now, what happened a moment or two ago is the Mercedes dive bombed the Porsche Geneva car and spun again. In fact, from the BMW. 431 in the GT4 category. The nose of the BMW just kissing the back of Dimorge's car. So it's the green 907 car we're looking out for. Is it just a tyre that's let go? Oh, entirely on his own, and the car just suddenly steers right. And I, I, I fear that maybe the rear left has gone out at Biondetti corner. So how on earth did he end up there? Oh, oh no, it was, it was a car in front of one that I thought was taking a bit too much kerb, but it could well have been too much kerb on that right. Just standing water, there is absolutely nothing you can do, oh. and yes, that's what happened there. Just hit the puddle, the tyre can't move the, the clear the water enough. Basically, the tread block fills, and you skip on top of the uh, the puddle. We've all experienced it on the motorway. It almost happened before the braking zone even happened. He might happens. get two here. <laughs> you know, oh. he might. Oh. oh. Careful, son, and he doesn't oh, no. do that. So he just went well. a little bit too late and then just tagged that guy right in front of him. That's super Roberto's important. Roberto's mind. There is Dreesy. Boris said, and Dreesy. Dreesy's got past Boris said. Ooh. Oh, no. Just as I say that, he goes off at one. And, yeah. Day, it's turning out to be because uh, he's, oh, another spinner. This time the 93 goes round, and that's, uh, she has to come offline the normal line. Look, so he's wider than he normally would be. Then he tries to turn in, and he's just kind of going too fast, really, because uh, he's trying to defend the position, but that, that, that... So I don't know what incident we're looking at here, but... Oh! oh. That's Ty going Oh, off. so that's turn six. So yeah, it looks like that tire failed, and he just couldn't get the thing slowed down, and just went straight into that outside wall. Just repeating, Barwick did not start, Twining is in the pit lane, and Thomas was in the wall. Oh, that's a real... We're talking about how good it is under brakes. Got a great drive, was there contact? Yeah. No, there was no. no contact. What's happened, she's Oof. run skinny on entry. She's then gone to the exit, got on the gas at the same time. North Tron Coast, Paul Sepranich and his team. They also built that car that Ingram's driving at in front. It's land, Paul Sepranich uh, has built that car and it's oh, very good. Stephen Lacey, Lacey, former New South Wales champion. Brett Thomas up there as well, the owner of TFH Racing. And Chris Pappas making it three from three down here in the turn four hairpin in the Blue Park's car. Down on the exit here, so they played nice here. Car, stand by Not so oh. there. Oh, how's the exit? For O'Keefe protecting the line. Cameron, oh, oh he's Harris. Oh, no! British touring car style into the back of our... Hung out to dry here in turn six. Action of plenty. In race three, go! Oh, yeah. Bob can he straighten it? Straight, no! Came on Ryan Casher at the same time, heading towards... Oh, oh, boy, oh keep... no! And they're gone! They've made contact, Suter tried to save it. That has affected the champion. What all the gravel was coming through turn 12. James Golding making contact and they went around and that's what's the time that is. Whoa, big well, lock up, massive. And off the road goes Cam Hill. And again, unfortunately for Thomas Randall, he's out there in the gravel and the grass. And uh, yeah, it's just an awkward interlock, wasn't it? So it's popped the left rear tyre off Matt Payne's car. Tony, I kind of need to see, I'm looking in every direction here. So there must have been some contact between these two. Oh, no, maybe it was just no. enough force yes, that's to, sp to spin nose to tail. And bang. Oh, that's hit hard. Now, now, he must have got hit with a Red Bull car. Oh, I was about to say. Oh, he's very wide. 
at the entry phase of the corner. You could see there, that was a great shot that you saw the previous two cars coming through. They were a lot further drivers wow. in that third sector. We see a replay here of Cook, identical livery to Dylan O'Keefe. So Cook is in the Pro-Am class. O'Keefe, his teammate as a pro, currently sits at eight. Didn't go anywhere, but it was the second phase that really hurt Ryder Quinn. Now what happened here? Look, yeah, Harrison Cookman, I reckon, and hard off to the left-hand side. There could be more to the story here. Whoa, Harrison Goodman did a really nice job. Gold and silver down there at turns one and two. Fire it up the inside of Harry Jones. Yes, oh. yes he does. Oh, that's massive. That is one of the BWT entries. We're just trying to work out whether or not it was Scott Pye or Fabian Coulthard. Really haul down here, coming in hot. And I wonder if Giltrap was on that similar braking market of the car in front of him. And then gets a little bit, oh, bounces off the curb. The car didn't ride that curb very well, which is uh, just sort of spat him off. Talking to Ted mentioned that he was concerned about curbs and, and the fact that the car yeah, is a bit wide, wider than certainly anyone would want to be. It's the wheels that actually turned the car over. Down to turn one, let's see what's going to uh, happen to him. Whoa. This is our yellow flag. Whoa. Can you believe it? Second high tech. It brought out a yellow flag, not a red, and this is the moment his session came under. Yeah, lost the rear on the way in. Fit of the session. Let's see what's going on. That's Miata going through. Villa Gomez then has just had a spin, hasn't he? Through the exit of the turn one, lost the engine, find himself. Pass. Crash him off. Oh, God, I'm so sorry, guys. What the f all my thoughts, mate. Let's look at it from uh, from straight on. Big wheel spin for Bortoletti. You've got Martin in the middle of the road. Oh, look, it's uh, it's the Red Bull livery car. It's uh, I've known. I mean, you can't move aggressively across, and that's how it looked from Fittipaldi's vantage point. Oh. Um, so Antonelli gets himself in deep, then loses the rear. For sure, thinks he's going to run into him, I think. Thinks he's going to collect him on the... Number six, Alex. Ah, oh, has he got a puncture left rear? It's a it curious for, one, isn't it? it? It looked for all the world to me to puncture. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to call that one an issue with the car, just from a, just from a track side, from a track. First interruption today, and this, the lockup, the contact, and the end of his race. O'Sullivan involved again. Yeah, O'Sullivan. Not the pictures we want to see at the start of what is going to be. A fantastic weekend of racing. Let's find out what happened here, shall we? Get to the top left of screen. Oh, he comes in sideways. Well, I imagine without. We're watching Gabriele Mini, and it's just a oh. moment. Oh! Just tries to stay in the left that he catches on the wall. And uh, so important for the rest of the field that are following him that Loke keeps his foot in here. And is what happens, and you have to give a little bit on the brakes. It's, it's easier than it looks to do that. Looks incredibly clumsy, but as uh, it needed to give a little bit more, um, uh, you need to give a little bit more on the brakes there, and uh, that is why. Turn nine, I think it might have. Whoa, that was a high-speed section of the sure racetrack, was. but a brilliant job to keep it. Sure was, spot on, T-Bell. Except not a place you want to be sitting for long around a really, really fast car. In a little bit of trouble here, but he's still staying in it. And then now he loses it again fully. God, I hate that sound. Our place those tires where they were. Here's a great shot of it. We've seen so many cars have big saves there. Oh, man. I that's a points race in IndyCar since 2008, and there's a crash already! It's the Hulkos Hollinger Chevrolet, and they hit Renus V. Well, power involved. So Dixon in that orange and blue PNC Bank Honda, he tried to take evasive action. And the P. completa de la Arca Nacional Contacto. Ahí, ahí acaba el señor Juan Andrés Pérez de la Justa. Uh -huh. No le va a pasar nada a Andy, porque justamente hablamos de contacto. <risa> Creo que lo pierde primero Diego, ¿eh? Sí. Lo pierde primero Diego y después ya Rubén se engancha. 
físicamente se engancha y aquí le sí le pone uno fuerte que vamos a ver si no hay daño en la suspensión de de Rubén y bueno ya José Luis y Esteban no tienen mucho ¡Otra ¡Oh, vez! no, no, no! ¡Irving! Uf. No, no, bandera Irving amarilla. va a ser bandera amarilla Irving totalmente va sí, Ahí está el toque cuando se quiere bajar ya es muy tarde, sí, no, es completamente incidental todo Viene más rápido Rubén Aquí lo vamos a ver Sí, viene como entre líneas Sí Y, la pierde, y si hay un besito ahí en el muro, habrá que ver si las suspensiones van por ahí Y la camioneta número 18 de Carlos David Novelo, ahí, ahí está todo Bueno, uy, ese último remate, al final no alcanzan a ver ya la amarilla ahí ese frenón y remate. Al automovilismo y lo hizo también aquí en el automovilismo argentino. Cuando lo vemos a Marco Caforio. Uy, complicado. Cuando venía avanzando Caforio, se terminó encontrando con un auto lindo. Se le venía un grupo grande a buscar ese tercer lugar. Uy, se cruzó un auto. Ay, se Ay. va cruzando un auto. Ay, lo chocaron. Mira vos cómo le pegaron a Iñaki Armida. Una pena. ¿eh? La máquina correspondiente, Oscar Viga. Mira por afuera. Lo va intentando García. Voy. Mira cómo se engancharon. Mira cómo tremendo, se engancharon. Eh? Fuerte golpe. El flaco Petraca. Sí, señor. Y a Andrés Merino. Ah. Y también hay inconvenientes con hace el auto uy, de Pairetti. Mira vos. Un vuelco. El Luchi no se fuera. No se fuera. Mira vos. Qué la. Lástima. Qué lástima. Se prepara en Capitán Sarmiento. Ahí veíamos el Sefche. problema de Sefche, que en la curva número uno, obviamente que pierde toda adherencia en el tren trasero. Un auto por el interno también veía. Barrio lo busca ya para maniobra de superación. Es brusca la maniobra de, de Razuk hacia la derecha y después hay un roce en sí, la sí, parte sí. trasera. Y la termina ligando Matías Canapi. Mira vos. El campeonato, pero es el más rápido en la pista. Y quien viene rápido es Diego Azar. Dice, claro, yo soy el puntero y quiero llevarme ah, el... Hay un Victor. toquecito al conejito Valle. Lo dejaron en el lugar comprometido. Uy, dejalo, dejalo. Muchacho, y no se lo llevó no. puesto nomás. Gonet. Gonet. Atrás se... también. Weyman, Jaime también. Y... Tránsito de la plana número uno. Hay un leve roce con Ayrton Londero que lo desacomoda y le hace perder todo. Después veíamos... La metría no, no varió. Nada. O sea, él no va a sentir eh, que ya no está más estable el tren delantero. Sí. Mientras tanto quedó regalado en el centro. No pasó nada Algunos van a la tierra y otros vuelven de la tierra. Sí, sí, sí. ¿Eh? Increíble. Bueno, y acá otro, nada que ver. El nada, en la otra nada, curva nada que ver. es el de Mangoni, que sigue de largo y se clava en la tierra. Trata de avanzar Todino. Atención atrás porque puede haber un roce. ¡Sí, hay roce! ¡Se tocaron! ¡Ahí lo tenemos! No. ¡Se empataron. tocaron a Fuseas! Pero se Con manejó él y todo el Tobias Martínez, Santini, Espataro, no, no ah. cruzó la meta. Y ahí realmente todos juntitos, ¿eh? Venía adelante de Germano, Germano que, que impacta al auto de Dubs. Castejurri, fíjense, se va para afuera, levanta. Di Mayo es el que va para el lado externo y cuando ya venía a marcha lenta por afuera Castecurri se lo llevó directamente puesto, Cardo. Eh, eh, la máquina de Carlos Pérez, esto pasaba con Villalba. Claro, se fue afuera en la curva 1, cuando vuelve se lo encontraron todos a marcha lenta. Mirá dónde quedó el auto Villalba. Exactamente, y los lo obliga. Esquiva Torres, lo sí. esquiva Ludueña. Bueno. También tiene ese despiste que lo vemos ahora. Ahí se fue. Y, a ver, sí, no, 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 problema no, no, neumático no, neumático no, sí, 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 sí. Sí, sí. problema con un neumático se le, se... La, antes de la salida a la recta principal ahí Fíjense, está, de atrás uh. estira el frenaje obviamente lo complica a Jara que viene ya en el tránsito a la salida a boxes carrera ahí sí está. se metió derecho sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, chicos, están trabajando la... Para llegar de esta forma, estira el frenaje Chalvo, 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 chalvo Espectacular, se no. tocaron Monte afuera, Betino, lo mismo Señoras y señores gol. Tenemos prácticos, ¿no? Y olha quem está mergulhando ahí, ó Para ganhar a posición, Cecilia Rabelo Mergulhó, va a ter toque entre ellos o Salver nesse carro do Favaretti, né? Tá, e o é, a Rafa Ferreira Continua Falta virando mais salva. rápido E aí tem o toque Falta. Você entender como é que é, um dia que amanheceu de um jeito pode fazer com que o carro... Opa! Aí o Nobles vai pra grama. <risos> tava na perseguição, tava vindo pro ataque ali o Ethan Nobles. Papa Fusca GTO, acelerando aqui no autódromo de Interlagos. Tem nove esses, os cinco primeiros 
de cada categoria para você. Já estamos na oitava volta. Opa! Vem do mundo ao contrário o carro do Zema. Não, não é o Zema. Carro número... Play. Será que foi o pneu? Foi muito é, eu nada, ia falar né? isso, que era um indicativo de pneu não tão na t -box. Eu tô aqui com o Carlos Gonçalves da Pirelli, que vai explicar um pouquinho pra gente sobre como acontece o desgaste de pneu contra esse calor que a gente tá passando aqui em Goiânia. E falar um pouquinho sobre isso aqui. Exatamente. Em relação ao Vitor de Ramazauskas, 1,36,861 tirou uma volta na cartola. Que isso, Galo? Vê, vamos ver, olha só, mas já veio o vendidaço ali atrás do Vitor Andrade. Que bate zera o décimo primeiro colocado na prova. Foi fazer um passeio pelo jardim com isso. Uma posição de risco, pois Beto Monteiro, Caian Chianca, o Léo Torres. Aí faltou espaço para todo mundo. Não vai dar certo a estratégia de Beto Monteiro. Pra... O Zine agora colocou por dentro, para cima ali do caminhão do Robert Val. Ah, travou tudo. E bateu ali também essa o Robert Val. Essa disputa valia a primeira posição no grid da Corrida 2. E vai caindo. O Vitor Franzoni está vindo para colocar por fora. Roberval e Adalberto e o Sururu formado. Sururu formado, diz aí. Sururu Os formado. dois acabaram Mas já apresentando Caraca, uma pilotagem toque. bem melhor do que do ano passado. Lembra que ano passado ele era no Lanterninha, né? Agora ele já está bem mais acostumado com o carro. Pegou sujeira, acabou rodando. Acontece. E tá Por querendo. sorte não foi assim. Muita gente chegando agora perguntando como funciona a divisão entre Elite e Pro. Ui, desculpe te cortar, Vicaria, porque olha ali. Ê, Roberval! Você sabia já que isso ia acontecer? Ê, Roberval! Né? Mais um toque dessa. Só Martin Rosgarter. Unglaublich für Sanna Wanna. Carolyn Strummond and Canton wheel to wheel. Down and towards turn number one. Watch out for Pavan down the inside. There's carnage in the background. Five carts off the circuit. And that little one of the CRGs is thinking, is that, uh, is that again, Buzar having a uh, difficulty? Oh, lots of difficulties oh. for Buzar. And Canton's off as well through turn 14. I'm going to replay. This is on board with uh, Thomas Pradier into turn one. This is all getting a little bit close. Ooh, that wow. is how James Anagnostiaidis left the. He had Paul. So Keegan Beaumont leads up. Keep an eye on this lad. He's going to want to pedal hard. He's been racing elsewhere, but it's really cool to see that center helmet. Oh, oh wow. No. One driver around there. That... Let's see if we can get the number. Yeah. There. That's one of the Iron Rock Motorsports drivers. Contacts. Watch out for Cameron Swain. Boom. And that was the number 16 by my reckoning. Takahashi moved across. The head as well, but it's Ibuno Hirachi turned seven. Oh! Now Sabatucci is it? Oh, that's a lot of damage to his. By following the rules, and there Ooh, he goes. Wow. That looked like a, the rear end came round on him, I think, on acceleration up the hill through turn seven and eight. It certainly was, Greg. Really, the track's still very dusty, isn't it, James? Under the bridge. Oh, contact! Contact! Yurachi, he's down, and he made contact with another one of the Karasakis there. So second one. Oh, look at, oh, oh boom, no, no, no! no. Pratamar goes down. Venucci's off the track, and it was all triggered by. Mantana Luz. Compañeros en la categoría de mil, aquí en este caso el LK64, se siguió Alexis Sierra, pegó contra el Air Defense, se encuentra bien el Products Furor Jeans, nos llevan las posiciones. ¡Oy! El Kaiser que le hace a, a, a Sócrates, está bien el piloto de Querétaro. Oh, and he just nose dives down in front of Emil Beckman. Yellow flag now, as we see. Oh, and here's the mistake. And whoa! And it's just the back wheel spins round on him. Oh, he slipped off. He slid off. Oh, oh, someone that uh, we had a little moment. We have a into the first turn. Oh! Some of the riders went off the track there. Rider down two, three riders down on the second turn. Clout, oh, here we go. Rogers down. Just lost the back wheel across the top of that. Uh, was that the last of the rollers, I think? It looked to be the last of the rollers. In the background. Not quite sure where we're looking here. Oh, oh. another one of those crashes. Really hard and slippery. That was a back wheel. La prima curva è de Valerio. Valerio ma viene beffato da Martinez. Sì, Martinez con la TM. La TM di Martinez che curva davanti, poi mucchio con... Eh. Segundas, precisamente, Michael Haruk. 
Fue segundo en el... ¡Oh, ¡Uy! Caída, caída de Oteiro. Al suelo Luis Oteiro. Ahí tenemos la repetición. Ahí tenemos... Oh, ha caído así. Fuerte, sí. sí, ha caído fuerte. Track was flowing. Here's another look. JT, what do you think? Well, I mean, that's a big crash from Unos, but this is a gift for him. Yeah. I think Luca Marsalisi is the rider down and the reason for the red flag. But if you're... Whoops, the sand section, really tricky. Oh, he goes, he fell in the same exact spot. Everything's good, no issues. He dips the front end down just a hair. And as that happens, the back end kicks up. He gets... Kate Clayson cross ruts. Uh oh. Oh man. Uh. Oh, that is the that is a really bad place to crash to. Real estate. It's gonna be really hard for him to. Whoa! Hold on there to a headmaker. He tried to triple from the inside. Came up. Incredible ride. So there's Deegan. Oh no! Shot down. Luckily, the collarbone injuries on the left side. Going for it. The whoops. He sees it lined to open up and. Oh. Anderson gets pulled to the right by a rut. There's really nowhere.